What's going on guys? Today, I'm going to be doing my top five Game of Thrones sets based off of the checklist. Let's get into it. At the number five spot, I have the Valerian Steel Special Edition set. Now, the reason I have this at number five, and honestly, I could have put a couple other boxes here, but I like these hits just a tad bit more because, well, for one, there's two dual autographs of Tyrion Lannister. He has one with Podrick and one with Jaime Lannister. But the biggest, the second biggest card in the set, Jon Snow and Ygritte have a dual auto in here. That's a big card. Let's be real here. But the biggest card in this set for sure is the Jason Momoa or or Khal Drogo, which is name, his name in the show. He has an autograph relic card with Dothraki leather used in show. I mean, that's, that's a sick card. That's a really, really sick card. On top of that, you have other big name autographs. You got Ned Stark, Sansa Stark. Pretty much the whole Stark family has a gold autograph in here. And for the Valyrian Steel, pretty much the whole Lannister family has a has a, a autograph in here. Tyrion, Cersei, Jaime, Arya Stark has a, a Valyrian auto. So the number four spot, I have Iron Anniversary Series 1. Now for my four, three, and two spot, you can honestly flip them around. But this is what I put. The massive cards in the set, the biggest cards by far, Daenerys Targaryen and Peter Dinklage or Tyrion Lannister. They both have a quite a few relic cut quote autographs. So pretty much an autograph on a, on a piece of paper. And then they have a piece of relic from the show. So yeah, those are all listed as scarce, to be honest with you. I believe Tyrion Lannister has 15 different ones and Daenerys Targaryen has eight different ones. So yeah, if you pack one of those, good for you, my friend. You are probably very lucky and deserve it very well. I wish you the best, my friend. Jamie Lannister also has a full bleed autograph in here. The, the big cards are the Daenerys Targaryen and Peter Dinklage relic quote autographs. And it's worth noting that Arya Stark has a dual autograph with Serio Pharrell, which is honestly sick because Serio Pharrell is only in season one and he went out like a champ. So maybe, maybe he's still alive. I don't know. I don't know. I, I honestly have to go back and watch to see exactly what happened. But yeah, that's a sick dual autograph. But that's my number four spot. Number three which is kind of shocking. I didn't think I'd have it this high, but I have just regular base season two Game of Thrones. That's it. And the reason why I have it at number three is because the, the, the full bleed autograph checklist is absolutely disgusting. And on top of that, there's other ones, but yeah, for the full bleed autographs, and mind you, you can get two, you get two autographs per box. You get two autos per box. So for the full bleed autographs, you have Tyrion Lannister, Cersei Lannister, Lady Catelyn Stark, Rob Stark, Daenerys Targaryen, Jaime Lannister, Tywin Lannister, Jon Snow, Sansa. You have, I believe, Brienne of Tarth has a full bleed autograph. Ygritte has a full bleed autograph. And on top of that, Marjorie Tyrell has a bordered autograph. And Arya Stark has a bordered autograph. I mean, this checklist is disgusting and it's a season two it's pretty old it's 11 years old at this point so if you're able to get your hands on this box for a reasonable price i would open it i would open it not financial advice but i i i hope to open this box one day i hope to open it one day because i think that the checklist is just disgusting so that's it for number three and at the number two spot i have iron anniversary series two now I have it here at number two because Daenerys Targaryen has four different autographs you can get, you could possibly pack. She has a border autograph, a Valerian steel autograph, a gold auto, and a full bleed auto, which is sick. You have Sansa Stark has a autograph relic quote card you could pack, which is a nice sizable little hit right there. Also, Jamie and Cersei have a dual autograph in this set together, along with Sansa and Loras Tyrell that would be a cool dual autograph to get and for the inscription autographs there's a good amount of 101s that you could pack that literally that's the only inscription that's ever made for that card and you honestly don't even know it you have to look at the checklist to understand what's a 101 and if you watch the show Rob Callender is name in real life also known as Clorenzo from the show he's one of the actors in the in the traveling performance show in the show he has a shit ton of 101s i believe he has 18 or 19 different ones which is cool so if you were looking for his autographs uh, for inscriptions i definitely recommend checking this checklist out because he has a shit ton of them so i think it would be cool to own a couple 101s one day who knows maybe i will maybe i won't but that's the number two spot and for the number one spot i honestly was shocked at this when i looked at it and kind of figured it out i didn't think it was this high but 
Yeah, I have the Complete Series 2 set from a couple years ago. This set came out relatively recently to, to most of the set. Yeah, it came out in 2022. So it's only two years old. And you can honestly go online and buy this box for, I think, $140. So not, not terribly expensive. You get $3 per box. But the reason why I have this at number one is because, well, first of all, Daenerys Targaryen has a full bleed autograph in here. I don't even think there's one up on eBay. I honestly don't think there's any comps. I don't think you can buy one right now. I honestly don't. It's so rare. I you literally, I don't even know if I'll ever see it in my lifetime, to be honest with you. But it's listed as scarce. I'd assume there's probably less than 10 copies in the world. That's just me, though. Sansa Stark has two different autographs in here. Full bleed and a red sigil autograph. The inscription autographs, which Jon Snow has, I believe, six different ones. He does. One of them possibly being a one one It says between one and five, it's winter is coming is the inscription. So if you find one of those, that might be a one one Who knows? He has inscription autographs along with Tyrion Lannister. He also has six different ones and one possibly being a one one between one and five. It's I drink and I know things. That's a very sick autograph. I mean, that's probably one of his most famous quotes from the show all time, which is cool. But yeah, the three massive cards in the set I didn't even talk about yet. One of them being a Diana Rigg cut signature card. I don't remember her name off the top of my head from the show. I'll throw it up on the screen along with a picture of her. But she sadly passed away. So she technically can't sign anymore. And I only, I think this is her only autograph in Game of Thrones ever. So that's cool. And I believe it's a hand numbered card as well. I think it's around 30, 33, which is cool. And then on top of that, you have a Jon Snow autograph costume relic card. I mean, that's all I have to say for you to realize that that's a massive fucking card. A Jon Snow Relic Auto Card. Come on. Come on. That's a massive card. And by far the biggest card in this set and probably the biggest card, one of the biggest cards in Game of Thrones as a whole, Jon Snow and Daenerys Targaryen dual autograph hand numbered to 50. Hand numbered to 50. By far a multi-thousand dollar card. If you get it graded, it comes back at 10. I, I'd assume that it's probably pushing $10,000 at some point. It's just a massive card, and it's and the hand numbering kind of helps that a little bit. I think hand numbering puts a premium on it, just because it's hand numbered, not printed on there or whatever. But yeah, that's my number one spot for finishing off the top five. Like I said, let me know what you guys think of my list. I'm curious to see what you guys think. Yeah, uh, uh, hopefully this catches a lot of eyes. I, I honestly want to see what other people think and what their top fives are. So, because I love Game of Thrones, I love opening it. So. Yeah, thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned till next video. Bye.